Hey everybody, so back in April, several videos ago now, I featured a clip of a police officer who pulled an Uber driver over for what appeared to be a really stupid reason and went on to browbeat and verbally abuse the poor driver as he profusely apologized, at, the driver did, and fell all over himself to remedy the situation, despite the fact that his slight was extremely minuscule and, as far as I'm concerned, entirely legal. The two passengers recorded the whole incident and even consoled the driver when the incident was over, though as I said when I featured it initially, I would have been much more impressed with them, it would have been much better had they stuck up for the driver when the officer was actually around and doing the browbeating, uh, at which point they were pretty quiet. Let's review the footage and then we'll dive in because this whole mess went super viral and I think many of you will be very pleased with the outcome. Okay, so stop it with your mouth. Okay. Stop it with your, for what sir, for okay. what sir, okay. stop it with that bullshit okay. and realize the three vehicle and traffic law violations you committed. Okay. Okay? Do you understand me? Yes, I, I don't know what planet you think I'm you're not, on right now. I'm, I'm not planning, sir. I'm here. Planning? I said planet. I said, I'm I said not planet. Any, yeah, I'm not any planet. This sucks. Sorry about that. Picked the wrong guy. Okay. Wrong cat, obviously. Pull over five feet. Do you understand me? Pull over. <laughs> I have this on video in case you want to. You have? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. In case you need to submit it to yeah. someone. Thank you so much. Yeah, send me your email. I'll send it to you. Okay. I'll, I'll give you my card. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. No, that's crazy. That's, that's really inappropriate. This is abuse of power, obviously. Because he was there. No, it's uh, it's no, not your it's fault. Listen, it's not your it's fault. Yeah. It's uh, this guy's just a dick. Yeah. <laughs> to put it mildly. Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't be really slamming nice. your car. Or no, just, he shouldn't be slamming your car door. He shouldn't be he right throwing things yeah. around. Yeah, he doesn't have a right to open your door. Yeah, like he's he's. I don't think he could have really arrested you. I don't. <laughs> you weren't under arrest. I think he's just on, on a power trip right now. Yeah. Because you honked at him. Because you honked. Because he he didn't have a blinker on. No. I mean, if you're gonna park, you're supposed to put your blinker on. That's the way this works. Was, That's why I'm saying. To no, no, I know. Yeah, but if you don't, I know. Yeah, I, I know. would just not say anything. Don't say anything. Just, just. You're gonna quiet. be. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. That's it. Now let me tell you something. The next time you do it again, okay. You're getting your, okay. What? You gonna let me? Finish! Sir, I'm Stop interrupting me! Okay. Apologize. I'm sorry. Well, who do you think you're talking to here? Sir, I'm not saying nothing. I said no, I every time I open my mouth, you have something to say. When you're driving up my ass, when I'm trying to park the car, and then you have to do something with your hands. Sir, I just say... I don't care okay. what you have to say. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. People are allowed to park in this car, okay. park their cars. Okay on the side of the street without your interference okay, and then your opinion about what's going on okay, sir. okay? especially when the person you're doing it to are the police okay, sir. I, I don't know where you where you're coming from or I'm where you think pocket, you're appropriate in doing that okay, that doesn't it's not the way it works okay, how long have you been in this country almost two years almost how long two years two years I got news for you and use this lesson remember this in the future don't ever do that again okay. The only reason you're not in handcuffs going to jail and getting summonses in the precinct is because I have things to do. Okay. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. You're not important enough. Don't ever do that again. Okay. Do you? Are you a fair? Yes. You're a fair? Yes. And this guy is taking time out of your day for his vehicle and traffic violations. Sure. Thank you. Can you take that his plate number, please? I have his plate. Oh, thank you so much. You may or may not have noticed this during the video. You might have been too wrapped up in the audacity of the way he was speaking to this driver. But the officer that just went off on this guy was in plain clothes. He was not dressed in a uniform. You never hear him identify himself when he comes up to the car. And he's also, you saw there at the end, driving not a police car, an unmarked vehicle. And 
The officer involved here is actually not just some New York City beat cop, which given his ridiculous lack of professional decorum, you would have been um, forgiven for thinking that. But actually, no, this is a 39-year-old NYPD detective uh, and actually from the post 9-11 intelligence division, ironically enough, uh, named Patrick Cherry. And his unforgivable outburst has been viewed millions of times since it was posted. The passenger who recorded the video, on the other hand, is a man named Sanjay Seth. And the driver was identified by Sanjay only as Himayan, the man's first name. And Seth initially posted this video on YouTube. It now has over 5 million views, but he gave some important context from his viewpoint uh, in the description of that video. It says, The policeman was allegedly attempting to park without using his blank blinker at a green light. The reverse lights weren't on, likely double parked without hazards on. The Uber driver pulled around and gestured that he should use his blinker casually and non-offensively and kept driving us. The policeman quickly pulls up behind us and this is what happens. This occurred just before 2 p.m. on the west side of Manhattan in the NYPD 6th Precinct on March 30th, 2015 near Little West 12th Street. The officer did not identify himself, but he had a New York license plate. The officer was later identified as Detective Patrick Cherry, at the time a member of the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force. A lot of people called the rant unhinged, and some even called it xenophobic because of the condescending and abusive tone he took toward a man who clearly wasn't using English as a first language. His obvious hint that that was the case probably should have come when the man the Uber driver confused the word plan with the word planet. Um, that should have caused the officer to uh, take a step back and go, oh, maybe I shouldn't verbally abuse this guy who English isn't even his first language uh, and is not equipped to argue with me the way that a fluent English speaker would have been. That's just an extra uh, piece of skullduggery here. When the department was reached for comment on the incident, his fellow officers insisted that Cherry was a good guy. And not only that, but as it turns out, this was not Patrick Cherry's first highly dubious incident. In fact, a review of Officer Cherry's uh, historical records revealed multiple complaints by different people, the first being ostensibly right when he was uh, hired onto this task force, September 2001. The department received multiple complaints of misconduct from a 24-year-old black male for offensive racial language. Uh, retaliatory summons and abuse of authority and discourtesy, uh, verbal discourtesy, which means he was rude. Only a few months after that, he was reported again uh, by another black male in their 20s for refusing to provide their name and badge number and abuse of authority in frisking and or searching them, uh, as well as another uh, verbal discourtesy complaint. Just a year and a couple months after that, he was reported again, this time by another black male uh, in his late teens, this time even younger, for abuse of authority, uh, abusing the frisk and search procedure, and physical force. Just a few short months after that, he was reported again on half-substantiated and half-unsubstantiated charges by another black male in his 20s for threat of force, abuse of authority, stop and frisk, uh, unnecessary questions, and offensive language about race. He received two more complaints in 2005, one right after the other for abuse of authority uh, and offensive language and physical force, again, against a 27-year-old black female and a 33-year-old black male. He then received a third complaint in the same year, in October of 2005, from a 35-year-old black male uh, for abuse of authority, and another in March of 2006 from a 44-year-old black male uh, for unnecessary use of physical force. And apparently he managed to behave himself for a couple of years there because we get a gap until March and May of 2008 where he receives two new complaints for uh, verbal discourtesy and physical force. 
He then received a rather extensive and substantiated uh, complaint profile from a 47-year-old Asian man in 2015 and then received another complaint in uh, June of 2019 from a 43-year-old black man for abuse of authority. So our friend Officer Cherry has a long established history of uh, receiving complaints, uh, particularly from young black men, apparently, for abusing his authority and being verbally abusive, uh, which is, you know, not particularly surprising given what we just saw and the way that he talked to this poor Uber driver. Now, full disclosure, I I didn't know this when I featured the clip, but this whole debacle actually happened clear back in 2015, and I apologize for using such an old clip. I tried to avoid that, but I'd never seen it before, and I found it very compelling and provocative, the perfect criteria for a good freakout, and it got many requests for a deep dive, so I guess it was worth it. Luckily, though, that means that it's had time to play out fully, and we get a satisfactory uh, conclusion. Anyway, Detective Cherry was obviously brought up to the NYPD after this video dropped and became viral, and the NYPD commissioner at the time, a man named Bill Britton, said, No good cop should watch that video without a wince, because all good cops know that officer just that, that officer just made their jobs a little bit harder. In that kind of encounter, anger like that is unacceptable, Bratton continued. In any encounter, discourtesy and obscene language like that is unacceptable. That officer's behavior reflected poorly on everyone who wears our uniform. Ouch. A formal complaint was also made to the Civilian Complaint Review Board, and Seth reported on his Twitter shortly after he had himself offered testimony to the CCRB about the incident. The New York Taxi Driver Association even called for Cherry's firing. Ultimately, any punishment was up to the commissioner. Almost immediately after this went viral, it was reported by several outlets that Cherry had been, pending numerous reviews and investigations into the incident, stripped of his badge and gun, and was even removed from the elite joint terrorism task force to which he had belonged. And it didn't stop there because the disgraced officer would also appear for an exclusive interview on NBC where he offered a uh, supposedly profuse apology. And I, of course, have that for you here. Notice how even as he profusely apologizes here, he's still subtly playing word games and suggesting that he was provoked by the Uber driver. He still seems like he's trying to blame the driver for being the unreasonable one. If the conversation initially went differently, we probably would have shook hands at the end of the encounter. To the passengers in that car? I would apologize to them too. I held up that day. To the police commissioner? I sincerely apologize. He's been doing a lot of good work to uh, strengthen community relations in the city, and I set that back. That I, I would work to, personally work to, uh, to fix that. But Cherry tells us there was much more to the story before the camera started rolling. In our interview, he tells us he was parking for work, having a tough time fitting into a spot. The blinker was on, his car in reverse, when the Uber driver came up behind him fast. I tried to uh, indicate that I was pulling to the spot. Driver came up on the other side of me and was still angry, throwing his hands up and saying something. Then he says the cabbie pulled away. He put on his police lights and pulled him over. Cherry says all that happening before the tape started rolling. When I woke up, it, it, it was an annoying, you know, I was, I was uptight. I, I, you know, I, I wanted to know what the problem was. I asked him for his license. Uh, he turned away from me, and he turned back with a smirk and told me he wasn't going to give me anything. I got mad. You can't judge three minutes of a tape involving me and me alone as an indication that that's the common practice of the New York City Police Department. At the end of the day, this was simply one individual who got angry and yelled. Cherry is now assigned to desk duty. I'm willing to take my punishment. And he says he hopes the driver will accept his apology. I would tell him I was sorry and I'd offer to buy him some dinner. 
Ultimately, Cherry was thoroughly humiliated by being stripped of his badge and gun, removed from the prestigious task force to which he had belonged, forced to appear on TV to publicly apologize, berated in front of everyone by the commissioner of the NYPD, admonished by millions of people, uh, including Uber's PR division and the New York Taxi Driver Association, and then finally transferred to another department and given desk duty. I know that some of you will contend that because he wasn't fired, he didn't get his just desserts, and frankly, I would be inclined to agree, but all of the above punishments he suffered were still pretty great, and certainly humiliating. Imagine going home to your wife and telling her, Honey, I lost my badge, gun, and rank today and was put on desk duty because I verbally abused an immigrant Uber driver. Anyway, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, drop your suggestions below. I cover new stuff, I cover classics, I cover totally underexposed random stories that no one's ever heard of. So send it my way, send it all. Leave a comment or email me at aiden at publicfreakouts.com. Thanks for watching, see you later.